left your rooms to go to the lounge where Fuyuhiko was. Right after that, you heard a strange rumbling sound that didn't quite make sense. Let's now that I think you right, something might have happened to Nekomaru during that noise. If so, that must have been Nekomaru's final scream before he breathed his last. Hold on. If Nekomaru died when we heard that sound, doesn't that mean we have an alibi? An alibi? When we heard that rumbling noise, we were at the lounge, you know? If that's when the killer murdered Nekomaru, then we have a solid alibi. Can't argue with that. Hmm, it might be too soon to declare that just yet. We can't be certain unless we first clear up the mystery surrounding that rumbling noise. Rumbling noise, huh? Did something heavy fall or something? Sorry, over or something. Also, based on what everyone just told me, there's another thing I'm curious about. You all heard the alarm clock in the lounge go off just before the rumble. What do you suppose that means? Hey. Hey, haven't we talked enough? I really think I should repair the elevator soon. Oh my, you're still here? Gah! Once the elevator's fixed, I'm not gonna let you anywhere near it! So Kazuichi ran down the stairs, complaining for some reason. What an asshole! So, what should we do now? Ah, uh, there's something I wanted you to do. After the elevator's fixed, there's something I want you to investigate. Huh? What is it? The clock's in the first floor lounges of both Grape House and Strawberry House. Right after that, you heard a strange rumbling sound that didn't quite make sense. Huh? Why? I'll tell you later. Hey, Fine, bastard. but why are you asking me? You can investigate that yourself. I would investigate it myself, but... By the time the elevator's fixed, there's a chance I might not be with you all anymore. Huh? Anyway, I'm counting on you. That bastard doesn't even make any sense! I just made up words. Now then, here comes the main event. There's only one thing I can do for them. I can go to that place for everyone's sake. I can't let them face that danger. I must be the pariah who goes in their place. It just snapped off, but that's your new headset. It shouldn't break so easily. That's it. I should investigate one more time before I head over there. The elevator and the door at the far back of Strawberry Hall. Just in case, it might be good to check and make sure they're, at, or they're really blocked off. If I press the button next to the elevator, the door should open so I can ride it. But nothing happens when I press it. it looks like it's definitely broken. Huh? Hey, what are you doing? You're getting in the way of my repairs! Hey, why did the elevator break in the first place? Oh, the killer mal malfunctioned the safety device. Look, you see that silver cover under the button? It looks like that's the elevator's control panel. They probably opened it and messed with the settings. But the cover's locked, so they wouldn't have been able to open it unless they had some kind of tool. Are there any tools in this building? No, there shouldn't be. I don't really know if they forced it open with a tool anyway. The control panel on the inside on the side wasn't the one that was forced open. See, it's the control panel on the grape house side that's broken then. Yeah. If the one on this side isn't broken, that's the only thing I can think of. I'm pretty sure there should be a control panel over there too. Plus, the elevator's stuck on the grape house side. Wouldn't that mean the last person who used this elevator went to grape house? Yep, uh. it's official. The elevator was disabled on the other side. Hey, I don't have time to talk to you. Hurry up and go away. You. Jeez, I'm trying to do repairs without any tools. No matter how much time I get, it won't be enough. If you don't have any tools, why don't you use this? Huh? Is this a multi-tool? Where'd you get something like this? I had it with me before I even arrived at the fourth island. If we're going to explore a new island, it's essential to bring this kind of equipment, right? A guy like serious? you has been walking around with a dangerous tool this whole time. Huh? Is there something wrong? Uh. It's nothing. Then I'll let you have this. Your repairs might go faster now, right? But in exchange, I want you to do something. What? That multi-tool has a compass. After the elevator's fixed, I want you to ride the elevator and see how the compass reacts. What the hell for? Well, to be honest, there's something I still don't understand. Regarding the structure of this building. So please really need this information to find out the relationship between the building and the elevator. 
I don't really get it, but, well, as long as I'm just checking a compass, I don't mind. I'm glad. Then I'll leave the rest to you. I'm so tired. There's so much talking. It's the strawberry hall door that leads to the tower. The button's broken. There's no way it'll open. As I recall, based on what Fuyuhiko told Hajime over the phone, the other side of this door is also barred with chains. They must have been really cautious to go to the trouble of barring the door from both sides. Something about that seems a little suspicious. Let's the killer's intent. I can think of only one explanation. Ah, Gundam. Perhaps they intended to keep me from entering the scene of the crime. Which means the killer was afraid. Afraid of the conclusion promised by my assumptions. Yeah, that was probably it. Just as I thought, there's no mistaking it. The elevator and the strawberry hall door look like they're completely broken. I didn't expect the contact elevator to be disabled from the grape house. As long as it's disabled, there's no way to move between houses. Which means the person who disabled the elevator would be stuck at Grape House. That person. They should still be at Grape House, but... No, it's too soon to form an answer. But I won't be too late to find the answer, even after I finish investigating that room. Yeah, okay, shut up and go then, Komaida. God! Ah! So much wasted breath! The final dead room. Only those who win the life-threatening game contained within will reach the octagon. And inside the octagon, the ultimate weapon awaits. There's no doubt Nekomaru's killer's been to that place. No matter what I, where I research, there are no weapons anywhere in this building. Regardless of the weapon used to kill Nekomaru, the killer must have obtained it in there. You're wasting a lot of oxygen saying these things instead of just going into the room. If that's the case, I should get going. Also, unlike everyone else, I don't mind dying at all. That's all the more reason why I should go. So then, Komaida, why do you do this to me? Just go into the room. Why are you making me read so many unnecessary sentences, Komaida? I see. So this is the final dead room. Are you fucking serious? The sign was on the door, and I walked in. But just in case you didn't know, this is the final dead room. Feels a little eerie. Hope I don't get scared. Did the door just lock? I see. The door is designed to automatically lock. It's if it's not, I would have. It's not, I would have. Good job. It's not, I would have turned back if it stayed unlocked. That made sense. And I thought the door finally opened. Now it's locked again. I figured you'd turn up since I haven't seen you in a while, but I never expected to see you here. Nagito! Why are you in such a dangerous place? Same to you. Why are you here? I... I heard the body discovery announcement and I thought something happened in this room. You're not very smart, Monomi. And you got locked in here when you came inside? You're a fool from head to toe. I am truly ashamed! Well, not that I care. Just make sure you don't get in my way. Um... Get in your way? The life-threatening game is gonna start soon, right? It'd be annoying if you got in my way. Are you planning to do it? Well, if I don't, I can't get out of here, right? Besides, the only way trash like me... It ...can be useful is by risking my life for everyone's sake. You're wrong! Nagito is not trash at all! There's no such thing as a human being who doesn't deserve to live! I know I'm being heartwarming right now, but my heart is super scared and pounding like crazy! Are you sure you're not just excited? You know, isn't it exciting to think that I can finally be useful for the sake of those who should who shoulder hope? Now then, about this so-called life-threatening game. Right. Nagito, if there's anything you don't get, just ask me. By all means, I'll help you and make sure you get out of here. Bring it on, escape game! It sounds like something a teacher would say, but I shouldn't expect too much from her. Monokuma's plushie. You want me to punish you guys? It looks like this plushie talks when you squeeze the tummy. Wow! 
Chills! Chills! Life-sized Monokuma, now for the special price for only $10,000! An advertisement! Watch the news. It says watch the news in blood. I might get cursed just by looking at it! <laughs> it's just a secret code. Plus, it's a pretty common one. Secret code? Makito, do you happen to know what this means? Yeah, it's a common riddle. There's something written in blood on the wall. Hmm. Looks like it's the number three. These bloody symbols, uh, this, these blood symbols alone don't make sense, but maybe if I combine them with something else? Flyers, huh? These might be useful for something, so I should grab it. This looks like some kind of password. I got it! The first letters of the days of the week are probably the password! I doubt it's that simple. It's locked, it won't open. You want me to punt? You you Why can't I use this on this? No? There's something shining under the bed. I can't reach it. Looks like the bed is fixed to the floor. I can't even move it. Is there something thin and long? How do I... Maybe I'll check here. Ah! There's just one hanger hanging in the closet. It might be useful for something, so I should grab it just in case. Hey! Right. Maybe we can escape with this, Nagito! Who knows? Who knows? joking, right? Or is that supposed to be an indirect hint? I'm sorry. Enough already. Yeah, I didn't eat any grannies. Hmm, what a loud thing. Cut it open right away. Ah, so there was something. Obtained battery. Where can I use batteries? Ah, it's a laptop. Looks like it's on, but it's locked, so I can't really access it. Hmm. It doesn't look like you can input the password. How are we going to turn it on? All I see is 367. Four? Is that a four? I'm pretty sure I have to input a four-digit password. No problem! I have a secret plan! If you input 9999 password com- Sorry, 9999 pos pa password password combinations, it'll eventually open! I'll leave that mindless work to you, Monomi. <laughs> oh, I'll decline as well. 
password to open this. I have a feeling that the hint is close by. I already forget what it is. Three, six... Seven... Four. Six. Four, three, six, seven? If you don't know something, don't overwork yourself. Feel free to ask me anytime. Hmm. Looks like there's nothing suspicious. The safe and those letters written on the wall look really suspicious. Huh? Oh! That's You're right! I knew the whole time that that safe is really suspicious. There might be something I missed. I should look at the safe first and those letters written in blood. Unless it means a different set of directions that I'm not thinking of. Mm. So let's try... Watch the news is supposed to be north, east, west, south, but north of what? 
Exactly. Which way is north? I would assume it's this way, so I would assume three. East would be over here, which is six. So three, six. But then west and south doesn't make any sense because these two are... That's not a number. wasn't a six. Piece of shit. Hmm, a digital camera and USB stick, huh? Looks like there's no battery inside the digital camera. Looks like a photo of a space poster that's posted on a wall somewhere. Hmm, I wonder what it means. Just as I thought. Looks like I was able to unlock the lock with this USB stick. Now I need to put in the password next. Maybe the memo that was inside the desk drawer might be the laptop's password. I got it. Uh, I got it. It's the first letters of the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, meaning it's M T W T F S S. Huh? It was wrong. I doubt it's that simple. Sun Mercury. S M V E M J S. S M V E S. Oh shit. S M V E M J S Hey! Is this Otello? Is this Otello?
something makes me really angry. There's a there's a puzzle here. Hmm. I think I see. Okay, um So three first. I really don't care about this stupid puzzle. This is gonna take me till flipping eight o'clock now. <sighs> Any other time, maybe. Right now, really don't care. Really don't care. could take the time to think about this, but I don't want to, if you know what I'm trying to say. I could stare at this forever and try to figure out what this puzzle is, or somebody could just, on the internet, could just tell me the answer, but apparently that's not easy either. Tell me the fucking answer! I found out how to do the puzzle, good for you! Tell me the answer. Not how to do the puzzle, because I don't care. I really don't care. I'm getting really tired.
That's how I feel right now, Monomi. Please. I see. Monomi, tell me the answer. Nine eight seven five. I bet he just gave me the answer. You hear something? I got it! So this is the unlocking device to the unlocking device! Reusing gimmicks that were already used does conserve energy. Use this. about clearing it. Why does the exit feel like it's not opening? What do you mean it won't open? Are you serious? It's not opening! Didn't I just tell you that? It's not just the exit. Even the door we entered from isn't opening. Maybe the game isn't over yet. Is there any chance that that thing I found earlier was just joking around? Seems like you have something on your mind. When I first arrived in this room, I received a letter. A letter? I I'm thought it was sorry. just a prank, so I didn't have a chance to tell you. Enough with the excuses. Hurry up and show it to me. Um. Yes, it's this. Solve the mystery of the final dead room, and you will obtain the right to play the life-threatening game. About the life-threatening game, it's life-threatening roulette. P.S. You are held liable for setting the roulette's difficulty. Depending on the difficulty, I've prepared special prizes, but make sure you don't overdo yourself. Hmm, I see. So that's what it meant. Um, what does it mean? It means the games up till now were just the opening act. From this point on is the real performance. <laughs> Life-threatening roulette. That's probably like Russian roulette. See, a gun came out from there. Which means I have to use that to play Russian roulette, right? Russian roulette? Then allow me. You can't. No matter what, it's too dangerous! Hey, Monomi, there's something I want to ask you. In all honesty, I don't really understand the rules of Russian Roulette. Hi. Ah, if that's the case, load one bullet into the cylinder, then spin it. After that, point the gun towards you and pull the trigger. Yeah. Wait, you can't do that! There's a one in six chance you'll die! A one in six chance of death, which means the failure rate is only one sixth. Hey, is that rule really okay? Hmm? I mean, if there's only a one sixth chance of failing, wouldn't the game be too easy? So, shouldn't it be the opposite? Remove one bullet from the gun, and then use it while there's still five bullets loaded. If you do that, there'll be a one-sixth chance of success. Yep, that would definitely make it a more thrilling game. What are you saying? Let's give it a go! <sighs> Hold on, Nagito! What are you doing? What am I doing? Playing Russian roulette, obviously. I've only removed one bullet. So there's only a one in six chance that I'll survive. You... you can't! Please stop! It's not much of a talent, but... Even I have an ultimate level talent, you know? I'm the ultimate lucky student. But if I can't win when there's only a one in six chance of success, then what kind of ultimate talent is that? I mean, if my luck gets me killed like this, 
There's no way you can really call that talent. If I'm truly the ultimate lucky student, I need to survive here. Isn't that right? Please, stop! Ah, that sound just now. That was the door unlocking, right? Haha, <laughs> looks like we finally cleared the final dead room. I... I'm scared of you, Nagito. Hmm? Really? Oh well, let's go. The octagon should be just beyond that door. So this is the octagon, huh? What a distorted room! Congratulations, Nagito! He's here! Congratulations on clearing the final dead room! And you even challenged yourself at the highest difficulty with only a 1-6 chance of success! I have a modest present for someone like you! Now then, this first! Is this the Future Foundations file? Didn't we already get this when we were at the roller coaster? Well, just think of it as an extension of that! Extension? You! What are you giving without permission? Let's see, and one more special prize! Here you go! This crest. Is this Hope Speak Academies? That's <laughs> right! This file! It contains your student profiles from your time at Hope Speak Academy! Meaning they're profiles that you guys don't even remember! Your time at Hope Speak Academy, huh? But after all this, uh, sorry, after all this time, I still can't believe it. Well, you mean what? that matter concerning your stolen school memories? I mean, a no good person like me actually spent time with everyone else at Hope Speak Academy? No, that's impossible. If that's true, how did I feel? Surely I would have spent my time feeling ashamed of myself for being in the presence of such greatness. Jeez, whether you're upbeat or depressed, I still don't understand you at all! Oh well, anyway, I'm passing this along to you. How you use it is up to you. Thanks, I'll take a long look at it later. So if I look at these profiles, I'll be able to find out what Hajime's hidden talent is too. He'll probably be happy about it. Yay, someone like me was finally useful! Hmm? What are you laughing about? Well, I just thought it was ironic. Out of everyone here, someone like you was the one who obtained Hope Speak Academy's student profiles. I'm not really- I'm not sure if you're lucky or unlucky. What does that mean? <laughs> but looks like things are gonna get interesting. Yes, Nagito! You might be the one who makes things much more interesting. I don't really know what you're talking about. Hey, what are you planning? What's written in there? Anyway, Monomi. No cheating! You haven't reached the end yet. I mean, you haven't played Russian Roulette yet. But Nagito already did it. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Get over here! Revenge of the Final Dead Room! Go Jeez, they're gone. In the end, I still don't understand what Mon Monokuma was talking about. But for now, I'll leave this file for later. First, I need to investigate this room. It's not like I know how to get out of here. Look at all these weapons. A refrigerator? Here? I wasn't expecting to find drinks in it, but when I opened the door and peeked inside... I see. There are poisons stored in here could secretly kill everyone with poison. In a way, it can be considered the most powerful weapon. But in that case, you'd have to ignore the rules. Regardless, it's slightly different than the ultimate weapon. Something called ultimate should make my heart dance with joy. I think I need more water. I don't know why these things are so long. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna get some water.
Sorry, I'm back. Why is there only one window in a place like this? Looks like there's some kind of hidden meaning to it. But in actuality, what could it mean? In my mind, I, en I entertained various possibilities as I walked slowly toward the window. And then the moment I peeked out that window... Huh? This is... What I actually saw outside that window, it was completely different from any possibility I had in my mind. Ha 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 ha. I see, so that's what it was. What I saw outside this window, if I start piecing it together and think about it... Yeah, I see. It seems I'm finally starting to get a larger perspective of the funhouse with this. There's a door on the floor? Isn't this the first floor of Strawberry House? This door lead underground? Based on the sketch, there shouldn't even there should have been a bunker. Uh, maybe what lies beyond this door. Huh. Things are finally getting interesting. The final dead room is on the other side of this door. I entered this room from this door. Komaida, or do you want to keep looking at stuff? Axes, swords, hammers, metal wires. There's a lot of items here that could be used as weapons. Yeah, okay, thanks. Amazing! Has expected of a place that cannot be reached unless you clear the final dead room. Thanks to how I arrived here, all the separate pieces seem to have connected together in one fell swoop. Huh? Yeah, I, I'd rather finish it than stop halfway. Thank you, Avenue. It's not, it's not Danganronpa that's bothering me. It's other things. It's okay. I know that now is not the time to enjoy things, but this is definitely a good feeling. Especially that window. That's right. Everything became connected from there. Thanks to that window, I realized the mystery of the ultimate weapon in the funhouse. Now all I have to do is tell everyone else about this. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna try not to... Let it affect whatever I'm doing here. But before I do that, I should finally take a look at the file I received from Monokuma. Especially if it's everyone's student profiles from their time at Hope's Peak Academy. That's important. I cautiously opened the file and read it carefully, taking care not to miss a single letter. Carefully. Huh? Hey. I think this is... I think this is Chiaki now. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, I was right. Can you hear me? Hajime, can you hear me? Huh? I'm sorry, did you say something? It's well? been about two hours since we spoke to Fuyuhiko. I wonder if the elevator's been fixed yet. It'd be bad if we were still split up before the class trial, so maybe we should call them one more time. Hey, are you even listening? I only brought that up because I'm really worried. S sorry. So, what are you gonna do? You're right. I'm worried about them, too. Let's try calling Strawberry House one more time. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's a great idea. I think. <laughs> huh? <laughs> hello there. Why, hello there, Hajime. Nagito, why are you here? <laughs> because I showed up. You showed up? How did you even come here? Maybe I teleported. Huh? That was so great. Hey, answer me seriously. How were you able to come to this side? Before I do that, there's something I need to tell you guys. There is? I tried to investigate Strawberry House as much as I could. I'll no. give you those details first. Let's hurry this up. 
<laughs> you see how he just popped up out of nowhere? <laughs> After being abruptly interrupted by Nagito, Chiaki and I learned about the results of his investigation of Strawberry House. Wow. So we learned everything that he learned. Well, I guess these were pretty important. Especially the fact that everyone in Strawberry House heard that rumbling noise, too. But what was that about the wall clock's alarm going off before that happened? Also, the fact that Strawberry Hall's button was broken is definitely worth noting. Also, there's one more thing I need to tell you guys. I've cleared the final dead room! Huh? You did the life-threatening game? It wasn't oh. life-threatening at all. It was just a little escape game that ended with some Russian roulette. Russian roulette? It's a game where you load one bullet in a gun, spin the cylinder, point it towards you, and pull the trigger. So you really did it. Ah, so that's how you're supposed to play it. So it would have been fine if only if I'd only used one bullet, huh? I guess it was just as Mono as zav 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 zav. I guess it's just as Mono we said. Huh? Huh? Actually. I misunderstood and thought I had to take one bullet out of the cylinder, so that's how I did it. I don't know what to think about this. I almost feel like. Is he showing off? Because, I don't know, we just played as him, and when Monomi told him how Russian Roulette works, he seemed to just go, well, that's not... Like, he's totally bullshitting. He's so full of shit, he's just showing off. Guess what I did? I took out one bullet. Like, that's, that's the only thing that makes sense, because he fully told Monomi, what are the... Those, those odds aren't that fun, or, you know, it's not as fun to risk your life that way. That... you only had a 1 in 6 chance of surviving! But I'm still alive. After all, the only good thing about me is how lucky I am. What's wrong with him? I knew he was strange from the start, but for him to casually do something so suicidal... He's crazy. That's all there is to it. Anyway, because I was able to clear the final dead room, I was able to obtain several rights. And one of those rights... was the freedom to move between Grape House and Strawberry House. Not only that, but whenever I move back and forth, I don't need to play the game ever again. I'm oh, sorry, I added words there. Move back and forth? Where would you even be able to do that, and how? Hey, Hajime. You stay You've been quiet. repeating yourself over and over, and it's bugging me. Can you let me speak freely for a change? Huh? Anyway, <laughs> I'm definitely lucky. Thanks to that, I was able to clear the roulette at the highest difficulty. And I obtained quite an amazing prize as my reward. That's... is that the future Foundation file? Yeah, yeah, it's a continuation of the file we received at the roller coaster. Continuation? There's even more detailed information about the killing school life that was in the earlier file. Th the killing school life? You mean the killings that took place at Hope Speak Academy, right? As I recall, Byakuya was one of the students who participated in it. But even when we learn more about the killing school life, it has no relevance to us whatsoever. There was information about the order of the killings and who the killer was for each incident. I find it extremely boring to read about the deaths of people that I don't even know. Besides Byakuya, of course. Then it's just as I thought. That Byakuya was the Byakuya we knew, right? However, I can't say the information was completely useless. In truth, there are similarities between the killing school life and this killing school trip. Similarities? For example, the first murder involved someone important getting stabbed to death in an unexpected place. The second murder revealed the presence of a serial killer among the group. And the third murder was actually two killings that happened in succession. What do you guys think about these strange similarities? It's definitely strange. I can't think of these as coincidence, especially if Monokuma's behind the motives and driving the murders. What are you trying to say? By the way, the fourth murder of the killing school life was apparently ruled a suicide. Huh? Whether that means something or not is something each person should think about on their own. I just wanted to tell you guys the truth. The truth? Are you sure you're not just trying to confuse us? Jeez. Your complaints just never end, do they? If you're gonna talk like that, I won't want to tell you anymore. And I even learned what your talent is, too. 
Huh? Whoa. Well, that file wasn't the only one I received from Monokuma. This is another one. That seal! Indeed, yep. it's the Hope Peak Academy School Crest. Perhaps. Does that have information about our stolen memories? Unfortunately, I couldn't find any clues about that. This file doesn't contain our information, just Hajime's information. J just mine? Why? Isn't that weird? Why only Hajime's information? It's quite troubling that you would ask me that. I must say, it was always interesting that Hajime was the only one who couldn't remember his talent. But that ends now. Are you serious? Did you really find out why I was chosen by Hope's Peak Academy? In a way, it's just as Chiaki said. Hajime's existence is special. Because you were... Just some reserve course student from the reserve departments. Huh? Unlike the primary department for main course students who possess ultimate talents, the reserve department is, the, is for reserve course students who entered the school through a basic entrance exam. Essentially, you're like a substitute for the second string. Well, even then, that's just a name only. The reserve department pretty much only exists to increase Hope Speak Academy's revenue stream. Reserve department? Substitute? Second string? Revenue stream? What is he saying? Like I said, to be a reserve course student, you don't need to possess an ultimate talent. You just have to pay a rather costly entrance fee in tuition. With the funds obtained from these exams, the Academy can focus on bolstering and researching talent. Through this, the symbols of hope can be raised. Isn't Which means what? you're just a stepladder, but you should feel honored. An average, talentless human can be put to good use for those who are known as mankind's hope. What the hell does that mean? Perhaps you simply weren't determined enough. Did you admire Hope? Were you willing to sacrifice your body and soul to attend Hope's Peak Academy? Or maybe you were just obsessed with Hope's Peak Academy like a fangirl following the latest trend. It's not like that! I... Wanted to become Hope? If that's what you're thinking, just stop it. Listen carefully. The only humans worthy of becoming Hope possess amazing talents and a strong will. And the moment you're born into this world, you either have that, or you don't. There's it no has mistake. nothing to do with effort. You must be chosen by hope to become hope. You That's why it's not know. even worth admiring. Or, were you so blinded by your admiration for Hope's Peak Academy that you couldn't even see that? You're just some nobody from the reserve course who'd never had a talent to begin with. A nobody who forgot he was a nobody. That's all. Then, I... I'm just... That's right! <laughs> you were never an ultimate! You had no talent whatsoever! I... I... Don't have any talent? I'm just an ordinary high school student? Man... Aw, oh, I feel sorry for you. Are you shocked to learn that you were the only one who didn't have a talent? That's but still, if you think about it positively, it looks like there's no more reason to doubt you. Now that we know who you are, a normal, average, utterly unremarkable high school student, there's no way you could be associated with the Future Foundation. That's harsh, Komaida. But if it's not Hajime, then who in the world could the traitor be? The survivor of the previous killing school life, Byakuya, would have been the most likely candidate. But now, that's probably impossible. Hey, are you listening? There's no need for you to listen to this. Huh? What? It may be important to talk about who the traitor is, but we need to focus on Mekamaru's murder first. Because if we can't survive the class trial, everyone's going to die together anyway. In that case, would the traitor be among those killed as well? That's something I truly wonder about. Oh well, yep. it's fine. I'll stop for now. Hey, you hey. said you cleared the final dead room and, and obtained these files. That means you must have gone to the Octagon, right? Are you curious about the ultimate weapon? So... Did you find out what it was? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Is there any reason I should answer that? Huh? What the hell? I'm the one who cleared that room, and I'm free to divulge any clues I obtained there as I see fit, right? Are you planning to keep it a secret? Are you planning to side with the killer again? 
Like I said, I'm not on the killer's side. That hasn't changed since this began. How many times must I repeat myself? I just want hope to shine even brighter. What you're saying doesn't make sense at all. Just tell us already. Tell us about the ultimate weapon. Jeez. I have. I guess I have no choice. I suppose I can tell you one little tidbit. Um. You're right. I did go to a place that seemed to be the Octagon, and I found many different weapons there. But I didn't find anything worthy of the name Ultimate Weapon. Don't lie, there's no way that's possible. Coming Stop. from someone with no talent like yourself, that's truly offensive. What did you say? Fine, oh. I understand. Now's not the time for us to be fighting anyway. If you won't tell us, we gotta do it ourselves. Now, shall we go back to investigate Mechamaru's case? We better hurry. The class trial's gonna start soon. You're right. I haven't seen... I haven't even seen the crime scene. Also, the guys in Strawberry House should be coming over to this side any moment now. Then, Why while I'm at it, I'll go on ahead. Hey. hey, Hajime. It's okay. I already know. You want me to focus on Nekomaru's case right now, right? It's true that I'm... shocked, but... now's not the time for me to feel like that. Right now, I can't afford to be the only one who's depressed. I need to survive with everyone else and return home. That's what's most important. Isn't that right? Yep. Yeah, I'm relieved to hear that. We should get moving then. Yeah, you're right. I should just forget about it for now. I need to focus on Nekomaru's case. Wow, so that was a huge revelation. How do you guys feel about that? Assuming that he's telling the truth, because you know how Komaida is, but I don't think we have reason to doubt him since he has those files. Um, I'm making ramen, so I just gotta go pour my water. Sorry, I'll be right back. But let me know how you feel. It's ramen time for you too. Sorry, I'm back. Hmm. I guess we'll have to see, huh? What are Nagito's intentions and what's going on? <laughs> I've returned from the depths of hell. I, yeah, I don't like, I mean, for sure, I don't like the way he's treating Hajime now. He's kind of like, oh, you're nothing, and he keeps just rubbing it in his face. G Gundam! Yeah. Yo, sorry, we're late. Just so you all know, it's all thanks to me. I'm the one who fixed the elevator. <laughs> it is a pretty good plot twist, isn't it? If it's true. We don't know, I guess, until... I don't know. Maybe the game will give us a for sure. Yeah, yeah, he's telling the truth, or we don't know. See, it's just as I said, right? Hey, are you even listening to me? I'm trying to stand out here. 
More hey. importantly, Kazuichi, did you look into that matter I asked you about? Huh? huh? Oh, that thing about the compass? I looked into it while I was coming back here, but I think this compass might be broken. You I didn't ask for quiet. your opinion, just tell me the results. Wow, he's being a, a little shit right now. Huh? <laughs> well, the compass needle rotated 180 degrees while we were riding the elevator. The needle rotated 180 degrees? I see, <laughs> it's just as I thought. Huh? Hey, what do you mean by that? Well, obviously, the That's elevator obvious. was most likely rotated 180 degrees. The elevator rotated? No. I should go investigate Nekomaru's body. As if he were thumbing his nose at us, Nagito began making his way toward Grape Tower. Oh, the my. hell's wrong with him? Doesn't he seem pissed off or something? Nagito, what do you know? How much do you know? Where to? Okay. I guess Nagito's like a tardy detective. What are you talking about? It's a trope in mystery games. They always come to the crime scene late just to make an important discovery. But they can never reach the truth of the case. They just end up feeding the main character's assumptions. Well, in Nagito's case, he's not the type to feed anyone. He'll just make things even more complicated. That's true. He's such a troublesome person. But lately, I feel like he's been acting weirder than usual. I don't think a new discovery is bad, though. He might be able to find something we completely overlooked. As soon as I came over here, I checked this first, but it looks like the panel was definitely forced open. The elevator panel? Uh, uh, might be better if I explain how the elevator was broken, huh? No, I heard the gist of it from Nagito. They broke the elevator by tampering with the safety device, right? Oh, looks like word travels fast. Check out that panel over there. It's just as I thought. Looks like they forced open the panel and changed the settings by tampering with the safety device. I almost said the safety dance. Oh my god. Safety dance. It definitely looks like the panel was forced open. Which means the elevator was broken at Grape House. Nekomaru right. should be inside Grape Tower. Yeah. I'll go on ahead. We were a little late. Gundam. I didn't say stairs, I said Gundam! Oh, this is awkward. So awkward. Oh, hi there, Gundam. I'm just gonna breeze right past you, not talk to you at all. Just go up the stairs. <laughs> I've made you wait. Shut the time down. has come to destroy all murderous illusions. Okay. Okay, bud. Let's go in here. Let's go back to the scene of the crime. That looked so mean. You're looking Gundam right in the eye and you just march up the stairs. See you later, Gundam. <laughs> you serious? Nikomaru, are you serious? Damn, Damn it. it. I don't know who did this, but this is pretty fucked up. Hey. Now's not the time to get sentimental. Come on, we need to hurry up and investigate. But we've already investigated everything we can here. Wow. No, you haven't. There's still something you should be able to investigate more thoroughly. Now that Mikan's no longer with us, we can't perform an autopsy. But what? Kazuichi should be able to disassemble the body, right? Huh? Is that true? Me. Are you going to disassemble Nekomaru's body? I Don't screw with you. me! Hasn't Coach Nekomaru been through enough already? Been I through enough? Know. We need to perform this investigation so we can find out who the killer is. Or perhaps you don't want to know, Akane. Maybe you don't care about what happened to Nekomaru. <laughs> Why you? If you suck at using your brain and you really want to know who the killer is, try not to interfere so much. <sighs> Come on, Kazuichi, what are you standing there for? Wow, he really did... He's... Uh... Yeah, he really did change. Damn it, fine, I just have to do it, right? I know I said I wanted to see his insides, but not like this. This is just too much. Come well... on, are you guys feeling okay too? Now's not the time to be staring into space. Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. I thought he was just treating me differently ever since he found out I have no talent, but it seems like that's not entirely the case. His attitude toward everyone else is strange now, too. But why? Now's not the time to look away. I need Kazuichi to disassemble Nekomaru's body. Okay, so do I have to talk to Soda? Damn it. Such a butt face. <laughs> come so far. There's no way I can get sentimental at a time like this. 
I feel awful for Nekomaru, but this is necessary if we're going to find out the truth behind this case. As he forced out his voice through his clenched teeth, Kazuichi faced Nekomaru, his eyes full of determination, and began stabbing his tool knife into Nekomaru's body. Huh? Where'd you get that tool knife? Nagito gave it to me. He said he had it ready before we even went to the amusement park. So Nagito did that too. It's like Nagito has full control of the situation. Looks like the damage to his head is the reason. Huh? The reason Nekomaru died. I mean, stopped functioning. Hmm. His torso is covered in huge dents and his parts are dislocated. Hmm, maybe a gear shaft broke too? Well, for now, I tried disassembling Nekomaru's chest. That should help us learn something, right? If that's the case, I need to look at Nekomaru's body one more time. Opened up his chest. Apparently, Kazuichi's finished disassembling Nekomaru's body. I should probably check it out one more time. I think it's just his... his chest. Nekomaru's chest panel is open. The clock inside is completely exposed. The hands of the clock look like they're pointing to 7.30. Also, it looks like the clock's alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. Which means this clock broke the moment the alarm started ringing at 7.30? But 7.30 a.m. is strange, right? I mean, we should not we should have arrived at Grape Tower just before 7 a.m. for Monokuma Tai Chi. Is this clock malfunctioning? No, wait. This is a highly efficient radio clock. Radio clock? It's a type of clock that receives radio signals so it can automatically update the time at fixed intervals. Simply put, it's an extremely accurate clock. That's right, it's a clock that'll never slow down. It's even designed so that it cannot be adjusted. Haha, <laughs> I've become a Time Lord! Well, even if it's an accurate clock, they didn't need to install it inside your body. What are you saying? I don't need to wear a wristwatch ever again! There's nothing more useful than this! Hmm. An accurate radio clock that never slows down, huh? If that's the case, why does this broken clock say 7.30 a.m.? What do you think? What do you think? Oh, we read this already. What's wrong with him? He's crouching over Nekomaru's body, and it almost seems like he's glaring at him. Jeez, this is the worst. Huh? You guys overlooked an important clue. I swear, you're just the worst. As I thought, there's no way I can leave this to you guys. What are you talking about? I found Whoa. this under a fragment of the pillar that tipped over. Is this a doorknob? You Looks like the screws know? came out with it. That wouldn't happen unless you applied a ton of force to it. Plus, it looks like there are scratches near the base of the doorknob. Don't you think it's strange? See? If we examine the far back door in Grape Tower, the doorknob is still intact, right? Now that you mention it, you're right. If that's the case, where did this doorknob come from? If it's not the door that leads to Strawberry Hall, then there's only one other possibility. I'd have... I'd... Wow. It'd have to be the door connected to Grape Hall that we entered, right? Well, it makes sense to think about it like that. We should try it out. <laughs> try it out? How? You we take the know. elevator to Strawberry House and we enter Strawberry Tower from Strawberry Hall. That's the only way we can see the other side of the door. But the button to open this, the door in Strawberry Hall is broken, right? That's we can obvious. just repair it. After all, we have the ultimate mechanic on our side. Well, well, you're right, but I need parts to repair the door in Strawberry Hall. I can repair it if it's broken, but if I don't have enough parts, there's not much I can do about it. But you have plenty of parts right here. Huh? Just See? use Nekomaru. I'm sure if you dig through his body, you can find parts you can use. Hold on! Are you saying we should use parts from our dead friend? It's called recycling! It's a much better alternative than disposing it with the rest of the junk, right? J junk? Well, Kazuichi, is it possible or impossible? Like you said, I could probably use these parts to repair the button, but... Seriously, hold on! Even if you do repair the button, what's going to happen to the chain on the other side of the door? Uh -huh. Chain? The door that leads to Strawberry Hall has a chain wrapped around the doorknob. 
Even if you fix the button on the strawberry hole side, the door won't open as long as that chain is there. You don't need to worry about that at all. Huh? I don't need to worry? What does that mean? Kazuichi, we should go over to Strawberry Hall so you can repair the door. Hey, I'm not finished! Hajime, you're going to come later too, right? It'd be really bothersome if you didn't. I mean, if there's someone in the tower, the door won't open at all. So you should at least make sure you're not pulling my leg. After tersely saying that, Nagito left the area. What the hell happened to him? He seems on edge about something. Who knows? Damn oh, that right. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Nagito asked Kazuichi to do something weird for him, right? Yeah. It had something to do with how the elevator spins 180 degrees. I wonder what that could mean. Actually, hey. to tell you the truth, Nagito asked me to do something weird, too. He told me to investigate all the clocks inside both buildings. The clocks? I... So I did what he said and checked them all, but none of the clocks had their times messed up. But why did he ask me to do that in the first place? I don't get that bastard at all. For now, why don't we head over to Strawberry Tower, too? Along with the doorknob matter, there are still many mysteries surrounding this that we don't understand. If we go to Strawberry Tower, we might be able to solve some of those mysteries. Maybe. Jeez. Looks like that's all we can do. Let's head over. You're right. What Nagito said about the door opening. What is he planning to do about the chain? Looks like it won't come off easily, so does Nagito have a plan or something? Jeez, I don't understand this at all. Well, let's go. Thanks to Kazuichi, the elevator's working now. Alright, let's go. We walked into the elevator, and made our way to Strawberry House. Hmm. It's been a while since I've come to Strawberry House. What's hey, up? you're here! Hey, Kazuichi, hey. how'd the repairs go? Yeah, well, the damage wasn't too bad once I got the other got the parts, so I was able to fix it right away. Yeah. You've got a lot of nerve saying that when you use Nekomaru's parts without my permission. Hey, well, I mean, even so. Now anyway, then. now that we're all here, why don't we hurry up and try it out? What'll happen if you press the button to Strawberry Hall's door? Even but so. there's no way it'll open. You haven't done anything about the chain. Hey. The door to Strawberry Hall behind Nekomaru's body was blocked off by that chain, remember? If you didn't do anything about that, it doesn't even matter if you fix the button on the outside. Well, <laughs> we'll, we'll know if we try it out. It's not even worth trying out. No, we've come, we've all come this far. If he's saying we should try it out, then we should give it a shot. Yeah, yeah. that'd be great. I'm going the wrong way. There's no way this door will open. Not when the other side is chained up. With a feeling of resignation, I press the button. Huh? <laughs> you already hey, said hey. just like me. Why did it open? Impossible. Where did the chain go? Hold, Hold on a second. That's not the only thing that's strange. That's right. There's no other way to say it. This definitely looks weird. What do you mean? Huh? Hey, doesn't this all look the same as when we were in Grape Tower? Yeah, you're right. When we were inside Grape Tower, Nekomaru's body was in front of the far back door. What the heck, guys? Which means his body should be in front of the door to Strawberry Hall. So if we entered from Strawberry Hall, his body should be right in front of the door as we walk in. Why isn't it like that? Why is Nekomaru's body in front of the door to Grape Hall? Not just that, the parts that I carefully arranged when I disassembled the body all moved too. Mm, the body isn't the only thing that moved. Even the tipped over pillar and the spilled oil. <laughs> I said oil weird. They've all moved the exact same way. The crime scene looks identical to how we saw it when we entered from Grape Hall. Mm. 
Everything that was at the crime scene inside Grape Tower shifted to the opposite side. As if it all rotated 180 degrees, right? I can't imagine that the floor actually rotated 180 degrees, but... Is that really what this means? No, it's more than that. We must have entered the Twilight Zone. Yeah, this case is a little bit tricky. It's pretty tricky. I feel like there's an even greater mystery here. A mystery so great that it could drastically affect the outcome of the case. We're gonna have to piece it together in the class trial. We might have to rethink this. We might need to fundamentally rethink how we've been approaching this case. Oh. I the chain disappeared. The strange feeling I felt when I went back and forth between the two towers. Yep, just <laughs> as I thought. It was definitely the right choice to confirm this. Just as you thought. Then you already knew about this mystery? You have a bad habit of relying on others when you don't understand. Why don't you try investigating first? That See? door at the far back with the picture of a grape on it. Maybe there's a clue hidden there? There's a clue on that door? I see it already. It's the door with the picture of grapes on it. This should lead to Grape Hall. Wait, huh? One of the doorknobs is gone? It's like the screws came out with it. It's no. the same as that doorknob that was on the floor. Very true, Avenue. See? <laughs> See, the screws came out with it, right? We should be almost done investigating and onto the trial, guys. Should be very soon. Then the doorknob next to Nekomaru's body came off the door to Grape Hall. Well, that's what it looks like. When you said clue, were you talking about this? But what is it a clue to? What? <laughs> Did you get even more confused? No need to worry. Just one clue will change everything. Huh? All the mysteries will be solved as if everything were linked together, if you can reach it. Just like I did. What does that mean? Even if I ask him that, Nagito probably wouldn't give me the answer. So it'd be just a waste of time to ask him. Oh, it's time! It appears that it's time for the class trial! To tell you the truth, I'm tired. Extremely tired! I feel like spending the rest of my life hibernating already! Man, I know it's bad, but I'm so sleepy! I just want a ditch! <sighs> Though I really don't feel like it. I'll show you my serious side when you come to the class trial. Even though it's impossible since it's so annoying, you can count on me to take this seriously. Are you guys ready to unravel this mystery? Looks like it's going to start. Another class trial. But hey, how are hey. we supposed to get to the trial ground? Yes. You're right, we can't do anything unless we get out of this building. Hmm? Um, Akane, did something happen? No, hey. well, do you guys hear something? Hear something? Hey, hey. What do you hear this time? Suddenly, as if cutting off Chiaki, our surroundings started to shake and rumble. And then it suddenly appeared before us. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is he telling us to go inside from here? Seems that way. All I'm right. gonna go! Just hold on, Nekomaru! I'll make sure I avenge you! <laughs> At least be a little cautious. It's obviously a trap. I agree. I detect the scent of danger. Even my familiars are saying do not go inside. How interesting! If you can kill me, you're welcome to try. Try stabbing your sword through my very heart. Um, now then. We shall get moving as well. Yeah, you're right. It's annoying, but if Miss Sonia's going, there's no way I'm not gonna go. Oh, but it's so damn annoying! I guess it doesn't matter if it's a trap or not. One by one, everyone went into Monokuma Rock. Until I was the only one left. And when I was about to take a step forward... We're the same. The same stepladders. Huh? 
Nagito was suddenly standing next to me with his eyes locked onto Monokuma Rock. Don't even listen to him! Other than the small movements of his mouth, he was perfectly still. Well, you and I are just stepladders. For everyone who holds the title of Ultimate. I always believed that I didn't mind. Unlike you, I know my place. What are you saying? That's yeah. why I was prepared to become a sacrifice at any time. And from that, true hope would be born. I always believed that the talent that survived would be true hope. Damn but it wasn't. There is no hope amidst all this killing. Of course there isn't. What kind of hope comes from killing people? What? Really? Are you suggesting that sacrificing others for hope isn't real hope? But you're wrong. It's only natural and extremely obvious that strong hope devours weak hope. Is After that all, right? that's what it means to live, right? There's no way I'm going to accept that. Oh well, it's not like it's what I wanted to say to you anyway. Hey. There's, there's this one novel I like. It's a peculiar mystery novel. Huh? A novel? The story is told from the point of view of a high school girl involved in a serial killer mystery. But when you get to the end... Surprise, surprise! The girl was actually the killer! Of course, the story's written carefully so the reader doesn't learn the ending in the middle of the story. The protagonist is just a projection of the reader, and this projection turns out to be the killer. Which means the killer you were looking for the whole time was inside you all along. How do you feel about novels like that? What the heck are you talking about? You're just jumping from one topic to another. And I can't comment on a book that I've never read before. Such a normal answer. I should have expected that from a talentless reserve course student like you. <laughs> but I know that you don't matter at all, so why do I care about you? You admire hope. I love hope. Right? In some ways we're similar. Maybe that difference is what's making me so emotional. Enough already! I don't have time to argue with you. Let's go. Everyone's waiting. Yeah. Everyone, huh? So you still believe you're just like everyone else. <laughs> Reserve course students are so full of themselves. <laughs> Nagito's chilling laugh continued as he disappeared into Monokuma Rock. Calm down. That's right. I need to calm down. I took several deep breaths and once my nerves had settled. I stepped into Monokuma Rock. The elevator shook violently as it descended at an ever-increasing speed. Hey! When we're in a normal elevator that shakes this bad, it reminds me how efficient that elevator in the funhouse was. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's probably true. The elevator continued to shake, and descended deeper and deeper. And suddenly, it stopped like it always does and the door opened. Whoa. I understand your desire to applaud this wonderfully vulgar trial ground. But it's so exhausting to discuss useless things, so, so let's just get on with it already. Oh, so sad. My chest hurts. Forcing everyone to do this is so sad. Hey, hey, don't go talking without permission after I've said my catchphrase. Otherwise, I'll roll a dice, and based on the result, I'll give you a sex change operation that many times! What an extreme punishment! Let's get on with it once again! Let's get a move on, boys and girls! And so it begins. I hoped this would never happen again, and now it's happening for the fourth time. The curtain to the fourth class trial was about to open. Nekomaru Nidai, the ultimate team manager. He was more passionate, more daring, more honest than anyone I'd ever met. Truly, he was more man than any of us. He sacrificed his body to protect Akane, and his appearance changed drastically because of that. But he still tried to live earnestly. And just when I finally got used to his new form... Nekomaru's killer... one of us. Killing someone because it's the only way to survive is no excuse. I won't let this be excused. Aw, need I? I 
won't forget this. The person who betrayed Nekomaru, who betrayed their friends. I will never, ever forgive them. Me too. I like Nekomaru as well. And so, this life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair has begun. Phew, I made it! Thank you for bearing with me through what made me a little bit tired today. I'm sorry. Let's go. Oh, Nekomaru. That might be helpful. Covers over time during concentration and fever time. I'm looking at either neural liberation or delusion. Maybe I'll do this. Let's go. Yeah, he was great. Now then, let's oh, you think you know who it is? Explanation of the class. Oh, I'm so interested to know, but yeah, I guess we'll just we'll stay quiet and see who it is, or figure it out as we go. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. I'm sure you guys are starving by now, but let's get revved up and ready to go. Whoever survives will be treated to a fancy lunch. Guess what? Rabbit curry is on the menu. Huh? I'm not the main ingredient, right? I'm here today because Coach Nekomaru risked his life to protect me. I'm gonna be the one who avenges him. I'll definitely find out who the killer is. I'm definitely not tempted by curry. Got it! Uh, Akane! You seem to have an impressive amount of drool flowing from your mouth. Hey, why don't we try going over the incident? We weren't able to leave Strawberry House, so I want to make sure we get a detailed understanding. Um, I discovered Nekomaru's body a little before 7 a.m. I headed over to Grape Tower for Monokuma Taichi and found the body there. Hajime and Chiaki were also with me. Hajime was with Miss Sonia and Chiaki that early in the morning? Yeah, Soda, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me you three were together since last night. Imbecile, I am not some woman with flexible legs. Uh, of course you're not. You're much classier than that. With legs like those, I could probably do the splits real easy. We just happened to run into each other on the first floor of Grape House and went to the tower together. And then, the three of us discovered Nekomaru's body. The body discovery announcement was made soon after. Akane heard that and rushed over. We heard the body discovery announcement too, from Strawberry House, obviously. As I recall, we found out the elevator was out of order, which left us stuck. So we decided to go to the tower for the time being and headed for Strawberry Hall. But someone even broke Strawberry Hall's door button. We couldn't go anywhere because of that. Thinking we should at least find some method to communicate, we set our sights on the lounge telephone. Forget these boring intros. Let's talk about the killer. Anyway, it's definitely someone from Strawberry House. What do you mean, definitely? There's no way a chick would kill someone so cruelly. 
so it must be one of you Strawberry House dudes. One of you better hurry up and confess, or I'll break all of you in half! You're the cruelest one here! Now, now. Enough with the lover's quarrel. We need to think about this seriously. We don't have the luxury of discussing irrelevant things. The incident this time has many questions. Oh, no worries. I know what you mean, Remix. Yeah, he's always thinking of the wrong thing at the wrong time. The incident notwithstanding, I also have many questions. Then let's start with something even Miss Sonia can understand. The weapon. Uh, well, the weapon is obvious. Oh right? my god, I forgot about this part. Uh, <laughs> what the heck, you guys? The weapon. You can totally tell just by looking. You can tell what the weapon is just by looking? It wouldn't be much of a mystery if that were true. I seriously, I love Komaida's huh? Huh? <laughs> Such an asshole. The only thing at the crime scene that looked like a weapon was probably... The hammer, but the hammer wasn't messy. It would have been covered in oil. I guess we should uh, figure out the weapon first. Uh, the weapon was right there at the scene of the crime! That pillar, huh? No, the hammer! The killer used that hammer and beat the crap out of him. No, that's wrong. No, I can't accept that that hammer was the murder weapon. I love, you know what I love too? He was so confident. Like he was like, let's talk about the weapon. And, and he was so confident and ready. And just the look on Komaida's face when he was like, huh? Just totally switched Soda's mood completely, just flipped, and all that confidence just drained. And he was like, "Look, look, look the weapon." Why not? Why can't you accept it? A lot of oil was flowing from Nekomaru's body, just like human blood, right? The hammer was used to beat Nekomaru. You'd expect some oil to be on it, at least. But that hammer was clean. So that's why you can't accept that it's the murder weapon. Well, yeah, but the killer might have wiped off the oil later. Why? Well, obviously, to make the hammer look like it's not the murder weapon. Then why bother cleaning the oil? If they didn't want it to look suspicious, they would have discarded the hammer. You're pretty insightful, baby gangsta. finish what? The game? It's like six chapters long and I'm on chapter four and I play a chapter per stream so no, clearly I'm not done playing it because I'm playing it right now. Sometimes I don't get why some people say the things they do. Baby gangsta? Baby gangsta! <laughs> Just so y'all know, I was trying to test you guys. I thought, maybe you guys mistook the hammer for the weapon or something. It seems that was a waste of time. Then what was the real weapon used to murder Nekomaru? That's the problem. There wasn't anything else at the crime scene that looked like a potential weapon. What? Oh. That's okay. See you later. Then, how about we look at it from a different angle? If it doesn't have oil on it, it's not the weapon. So whatever has oil on it must be the weapon, right? The actual weapon has oil on it. But if it's something at the crime scene that had oil on it... Uh... I see! The only thing with oil on it is that broken pillar. Then that pillar is the weapon! Coach Nakamaru got clobbered with that But gun. how? Nobody could withstand a blow from that pillar. 
Even if you used 100% of your muscle strength, it would be impossible to wield it as a weapon. Why? We tried to move it, right? It's no use! It's barely budging! Didn't I tell you? Yeah, that pillar was pretty freaking heavy. But there's one dude who could have lifted that pillar. Huh? Who are you talking about? Coach Nekomaru's robot body! With that dude's super strength, lifting a pillar would be real easy. So, he lifted the pillar, and then what? Did he use it to beat himself? You mean, Nekomaru killed himself? Don't be stupid! He ain't the type to commit suicide! Then even if Nekomaru could have lifted that pillar, it has nothing to do with the case at all! Well, I guess you're right. What the heck? But it does bother me a little. That word, suicide. By the way, the fourth murder of the killing school life was apparently ruled a suicide. Huh? No, that shouldn't matter. There's no way Nekomaru would commit suicide. But that's a problem. If it's not the pillar, then there's no other weapon we can think of. Um, there may be a way to use the pillar as a weapon without lifting it. Huh? For reals? Yes, for reals. I see. So my gut was right after all. Only Sonya. All right, it's up to you, Sonya. Prove that pillar was the murder weapon. Understood. Then I shall give it my all. Sonya, here I go! There's no need to lift that pillar. The pillar was not lifted. Beating him with it is beyond a dream. What about tipping the pillar over? They aimed right for his head and bullseye. Even I could probably tip it over. Considering the pillar's weight, it probably exerted a ton of force. Sonya, you go, girl! <laughs> I'm getting hella excited! The killer murdered Nekomaru by tipping over the pillar? Is that really it? But... There's no there were no fragments on top of his body. If the pillar was not lifted... Beating him with it is beyond a dream. What about tipping the pillar over? No, that's wrong! If Nekomaru was crushed by the pillar, then there should have been fragments on top of his body. Huh? Fragments? The pillar fragments were scattered beneath Nekomaru's body, but there weren't any on top of his body. If the pillar had been tipped over and crushed, the fragments should have been on top of his body instead. I briefly considered that too, but it's probably not what happened. I... I see. That was entirely... my bad. If they didn't tip it over, then how did the killer murder Nekomaru with that pillar? How much longer are you gonna focus on the pillar? Just let it go already! There... there's no way I can let it go. I'm positive that Nekomaru was killed by that pillar. Why are you so certain about that? I just... I have a feeling. A feeling, huh? That's just your instincts. But we can't say for sure that that instinct is wrong, can we? Huh? There's another way to use that pillar to kill. You guys just haven't noticed it. Is that true? Then I shall ask you, what way is that? You guys... Are the same as usual. You're unable to clear a path to the future with your own powers. So you just stand there and falter. What a waste of talent. And you all intend to fight the future foundation? You make me laugh. What did you say? Regardless, it's not like I want to die with the rest of you. 
So I guess I should lend a hand. Hey, Nagito. What the hell happened to you? How come you're not talking like a lunatic anymore? I've learned a valuable lesson. Ignorance is by far the greatest shame. Huh? What do you mean? Who cares? Just tell us how the pillar was used to kill! Well, first of all, the pillar itself is not enough. But when combined with a specific item, there's a way it could be possible. A specific item? Of course, the ultimate weapon. The ultimate weapon? Isn't that the thing you get when you clear the final dead room? So, Nagito knows what the ultimate weapon is? Of course I know, but I'm pretty sure everyone else has seen it, you know? We've seen it? That's right. You've seen it clearly. Because I, the one who has claimed dominion over evil, am the ultimate weapon! Gundam, please. Please, no. Shh. I am he <laughs> who cuts the insolent catalyst which flows out from the chaos with the sword of victory. It's only fitting that I deserve to be called the ultimate weapon! No, you are far greater than the ultimate weapon, since you wield your four dark devas of destruction. I, I see. I don't know why, but I'm not liking this. Cut the bullshit and say it clearly. What is the ultimate weapon? In order to clarify that, we first need to solve the secret of the funhouse. Huh? The secret of the funhouse? You still don't realize it? Jeez, get it together. You're supposed to be the symbols of hope, aren't you? Ah, I forgot. Except for Hajime, of course. Except for Hajime? If we make it out of this, I'll explain it to Aww. you guys. Anyway, we must first clarify the secret of the funhouse, right? Then I think it must have something to do with the structure of the funhouse. Strawberry house leads to Strawberry Tower, and Grape House leads to Grape Tower. But in actuality, they are both the same building, and both houses are linked to the central tower. It is undeniable that such a sweet building structure is the secret of the funhouse. Man, not only does that make perfect sense, but Miss Sonia's beautiful voice is just so soothing. Full show! I shall leave this matter to your discretion. Oh my god. The two houses are connected to the tower in the middle. I thought that at first too, but... I ended up finding proof that completely contradicts that. <laughs> Sony, please. Gundam, please. Your strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually the exact same place. So that's the secret of the funhouse. Is that really it? It's weird to say they're both the same place. I mean, the walls are different colors. And the designs on the floor are also different. We've already settled this problem. Give it ten years before you argue with Miss Sonia. This whole time, we've been thinking the two towers are the same building, but... If that was the only mystery, there's no way Nagito would mention it here. In truth, Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually the exact same place. Wrong. No, that's wrong. Both of those towers, are they really the same place? What? Why are you asking that now? Do you harbor a grudge because my kingdom destroyed your homeland? What? Hajime, I won't tolerate any sort of rebellion. What? I mean, doesn't it seem strange? When we went to Great Tower from Great Hall, Nekomaru's body was in front of the door to Strawberry Hall. But when we went to Strawberry Tower from Strawberry Hall, the 
his body was in front of the door to Grape Hall. It's probably some kind of trick, like the floor rotating 180 degrees or something. If it is, then see? That means it could have passed to the exact same place, right? If so, then what? Do you seriously think such a simple answer is the correct answer? Does that mean he's wrong? Oops, I guess I've said too much. If the floor didn't rotate, then that means we need to think about the structure of the building. Bow down! Bow down! Kills me. Then how about this? Somebody moved Nekomaru's what? body. What? Sonia, no! While we were moving from Grape Tower to Strawberry Tower? But we should have all been together during that time. Even if they tried to move the body inside the tower. Then Monokuma did it! You're grasping, darling. While we were moving, Monokuma quickly moved things around. But Nekomaru's body wasn't the only thing moved. Are you saying the broken pillar was moved too? If it is too heavy to carry, let them roll it. Just like if there is no bread, let them eat cake. What? Of course. Oh dear. There are many different ways. The body and the pillar could have been moved. The pillar could have been rolled. And Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was Monokuma's doing. Oh, they're not. Oh, I ran out of cuts. As expected of a princess, she's overcoming my arguments with great confidence. I need to counter her remarks and wait for an opportunity to refute her. There are but many I was just... different ways. The body and the pillar could have been moved. The pillar could ah. have been rolled, and Nekomaru could have been moved piece by piece. I decree it was Monokuma's doing. Moving the body and the pillar in such a short time. That might be hard even for Monokuma, don't you think? It seems you have forgotten. Monokuma is surprisingly strong. Wielding the power of the pillar, the body, everything at the crime scene? I didn't get that right at all. I don't know why I did that. Crap. It seems you have forgotten. Monokuma is surprisingly strong, wielding the power to pillar the body, everything at the crime scene. He could have moved it all. Easy no, as pie. I got it. Let's try that again. It seems you have forgotten. Monokuma is surprisingly strong, wielding the power of the future with the pillar, the body, everything at the crime scene. Gotcha. Allow me to cut through those words. Moving the body and pillar is possible, but it would have been impossible to move the oil on the floor. Huh? When the position of Nekomaru's body and the pillar changed, the oil surrounding his body moved too. Physically moving all of the oil like that is simply not possible, no matter how you look at it. Then it's impossible to think it was moved. I am terribly sorry. I cannot believe I got so fired up. It's all right. A fired up Miss Sonia is awesome to watch. So what really happened? Does that mean the two towers aren't the same building? Hmm. We can't be certain of that either. Not when the experiment involving the handbook I left on the tower floor was a complete success. Yeah, the e-handbook was still there. That's why we thought the two towers were the same building. If they're not the same building, or two different buildings, then what are they? Hmm. Hmm. No idea, huh? This mystery ties into the secret of the Funhouse. But we don't have enough clues to solve that mystery. Then the only thing we can do is rely on the one person who has those clues. Nagito, I thought it would come to this. I knew my turn was coming up. Fine, 
tell you guys a big hint that can help you solve the secret of the funhouse. Give us the answer, not a friggin' hint. But then it wouldn't mean anything. I need you guys to do this class trial properly. It's also important for me because it will help me... determine something. Determine? Is he talking about the traitor? If so, why did Nagito say that all of a sudden? Did something happen to him? But how do we know your hint is any good? It's suspicious that you're the only one who knows it. I have a good reason for that. The reason I'm the only one who knows it is because I was the only one who performed the appropriate action. He performed the appropriate action in order to learn the secret. Could he be talking about... I see! You're talking about the final dead room, right? You cleared the life-threatening game there and found something, didn't you? That's right. The hint is what I saw after I cleared it. In the depths of the final dead room, there was a hidden room surrounded by concrete. And there, a small conspicuous window waited, all by itself. From that window, I saw some very strange scenery. Strange scenery? Instead of explaining it, it might be faster just to show you. At an opportune time, I found a perfect camera in the final day. Of course he did. You took a picture? Yep. Nagito grinned creepily as he retrieved a small digital camera from his inner pocket. See? This is it. And as he said that, he showed us a peculiar picture. Let me explain it to you again. I took this picture on the first floor of Strawberry House. From the secret room within the final dead room. Mm. But... Don't you think it's weird? If the Funhouse's structure is what you guys have been thinking, then there's lots of things that don't make sense in this picture, right? Lots of things that shouldn't make sense in this picture? Then let's begin. Shall I call it... Thinking time? <laughs> Shut up, Kawaida. <laughs> What doesn't make sense in this picture? Like everything! The fact that we're above the trees, the sky, everything. Here. If the structure of the funhouse is what we thought it was, 